Hello and welcome back to Uncle Buck's Advice. Today we're going to talk about what to do with your protocol before you get blood work done. Now what I mean by this is that you don't want to take your shot on Sunday and get blood work done on Monday. You just don't want that because the regulations are starting to get a little, even a little tighter than they were before. Now we're my, I found out from my pharmacist that the prescriptions are only less than six months now. So where they were a year, but now they're every six months and it's getting regulated a little bit more. They're being a little tighter on it. So they're also, the doctor has to prove there's a reason for them or they're starting to do this some places. There's a reason for you to get prescribed. Okay, so you have to be careful about your blood work. What I'm doing and what I just did was, you know me, I take my shot every Sunday and uh, because of my work schedule, Tuesdays is usually the day that I, I get uh, doctor's appointments. So instead of taking a shot on Sunday and getting a blood work and a te and the levels done on Tuesday, which is not optimal because it's gonna show that I'm running really good and that could in the future possibly cause me not to be able to get the prescription. So what I do when I'm getting blood work done is I go nine days. I don't take the shot on Sunday. I stop and don't take that one and I take it Tuesday night after I get home from the doctor's office from the blood work. So just know that going in. Regulations are getting tighter um, that means that all the clinics are gonna, probably going to start needing more visits. That means more blood work. That means more hoops to jump through, which means it makes it more difficult for the doctors, which means it makes it more difficult for us. So thank you to the present uh, administration that's doing all this. And, you know, I always say I don't do politics, but uh, we didn't have this problem until just recently. OK, so um, it's still very, very, very doable. But so you have to be aware of timing when it comes to your blood work. OK, everything else. In a matter of fact, in everything else, it really like. If you go an extra couple, three days without a shot, it's not going to really affect the differences in your hermetocrits and your red blood cell counts and everything else that, you know, goes up and down. It might help out your blood pressure a little bit if you're having any kind of blood pressure issues, but if you're not already, you're paying attention to it, you need to. Um, but the biggie is the test levels. If you pop a test, of a 800 to 1200 you know which is seems like some of you guys are trying to run a little hot which i understand i was there i, I i'm not talking down to you at all i'm not sorry about that i had a customer come in so i had to stop for a moment um but i'm just saying help yourself out help your doctor out you know if you know you're going in for blood work miss a shot do some timing. Get it so where you're not peaking so heavy, especially not taking your shot on Monday and getting blood work done on Tuesday. Don't do that. That's going to that's gonna mess you up. Possibly. I'm just saying, in the long run, the more, the I'm just not, I'm just missing two days, which doesn't affect me too bad, but I'm not taking that shot on Sunday so that my blood work looks better so that my doctor doesn't have any issues with regulation, any kind of regulatory issue. Okay. So just food for thought. If you're still here, like, share, and subscribe, smash that like button, smash that like button. That helps out a bunch. Y'all have a great day because great day today could mean even better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.